Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a leaky garbage disposal. You can see this one's under the sink here and it's just leaking away. Uh, I'm going to take it out and replace it. The first thing you got to do is unplug the electrical cord. If you don't have a plug, then go to your circuit breaker and turn off the circuit breaker that feeds the electrical to your garbage disposal. The next thing you do is take off the plumbing. This is the line that goes to the dishwasher. The dishwasher feeds in right here. So uh, you go ahead and take that off. Okay, like that. And then you need to take off the nuts that hold your plumbing to the disposal. Uh, I'm using a Klein 11 in 1 tool here. One of the 11 tools that this features is a 3 8 nut driver, which is perfect. Uh, for this job. So we just go ahead and uh, take those those nuts off and loosen it up. The, those handles by the way are big padded handles. You can get a lot of good leverage with them. Okay. Now take loose the uh, plumbing. Okay the plumbing's uh, loose. The electrical's loose. Um, everything's ready to go. So now we're going to go ahead and take the garbage disposal off. Okay, now I've got a, a big screwdriver and a hammer and I just uh, you go counterclockwise as you're looking up at it and uh, this is a uh, uh, insincorator brand. Okay, so now you just grab it and take it off. There it is right there. Okay, so now we've got the old garbage disposal off. Sometimes you can save the old throat piece. Uh, sometimes they're still good, and it'll save you some time. This one, however, was shot. Okay, so here's our new garbage disposal on the left. Uh, we've selected the Insecurator Badger uh, three-quarter horsepower, and uh, the old one was made by Insecurator, and it is a very old model. I'm going to take the electrical cord from the old garbage disposal and use it on the new garbage disposal. The electrical was working fine and there's no reason to uh, throw out the cord. You, you have to provide your own cord with the insincorators. They cost uh, $10 uh, from insincorator. Okay, now I'm taking the old cord and I'm cutting the, um, the old wire off and I'm gonna strip some new wire. That's the proper way to do it. You get better connection, uh, better flow of electricity uh, through your wires that way. See, so now you got a nice clean wire to work with. So that's a that's a Klein uh, dual stripper right there. I uh, use that in a lot of my electrical work. And there's a ground. So we got a, a hot, a neutral, and a ground. And you put you have to provide your own connector. You see, I've, I've put a connector onto the garbage disposal. And these are Wego lever nuts. Okay, I'm going to uh, hook the white to the white and the black to the black and uh, the ground to the green grounding terminal. Wego lever nuts will work for stranded or solid wire. So they are great for uh, jobs like this. Uh, this is stranded wire. And you just put them uh, into the wiggle lever nuts and then you fasten down the levers. And here's the, the next set of wires. Uh, put it in there, put it in the uh, spaces and fasten down the wires. Then I'm going to take uh, the wires with the lever nuts and put them in the space provided by Insincorator. And now we're going to take the metal cover that comes with the garbage disposal and fasten that down securely. And now uh, the thing to do is uh, fasten down the cable connector. Uh, you want the, your cord to be good and secure in case it gets tugged on while it's underneath the sink. The disposal comes with the dishwasher inlet plugged off. So if you have a dishwasher, you should take a screwdriver and a hammer and knock out that plug 
prior to installation. Okay, now I'm, I'm taking off the old throat piece. Uh, the old throat piece is no good. Like I say, sometimes you can use them. Okay, I just got the little spring off of there. You, you got to pry that off and get it off. And then the rest of it comes off. Uh, the friction ring will be next. And it just comes right out the top. The next thing you have to do is, is clean your sink real good. Uh, where the old plumber's putty was and so forth. Uh, get that nice and clean. And put in your new throat, your new, uh, throat piece. Okay, this is how it comes in the box. It comes with the uh, spring clip uh, on it. You just take your screwdriver and take it off. And that's a piece that the uh, screws screw onto. There's your friction ring, and here's your throat piece. Okay, this is plumber's putty. And I'm going to take some plumber's putty and make a big uh, cigar out of it. You just uh, roll it between your hands like this and you make a, a nice long uh, piece of plumber's putty and then when you got it the way you want it you take it and wrap it around your throat piece this is what seals your throat piece to the sink okay I like to put the the words so you can read them as you're standing uh, at the sink doing dishes or whatever and yeah, you pre press it down first to kind of get it started. You want to center it uh, right in the hole there. You don't want it off to one side or the other. Okay, now the, um, the whole works is, is going on here. You have the, fr the friction ring and then the, uh, the, the part that holds your garbage disposal. And now you gotta get this ring on here. It's a snap ring. You just work it, work it around. And you gotta get it to click into place. Tighten up all the screws. You go round and round, just like you're uh, tightening the lug nuts on a wheel. Don't tighten one too, uh, all the way and then the next one like that. You just keep going round and round and tighten each one a little bit. Uh, that'll give you a, a more even seal um, at the sink. So now we've got the uh, throat piece on. Here's the garbage disposal I'll put right up next to the throat piece. I have it on a little uh, scissors jack to push it up uh, tight there just to save a little work. Now you push it, you put the uh, piece on clockwise. It catches on the lip of the throat piece. So, and the best way to do this is take your channel locks, or in my case, I have uh, vice grip pliers, and you squeeze these two uh, pieces together, right like that. Okay, so it's all it's on there. Wait, one more squeeze. It's on. It'll be on there, nice and tight. That makes it tighter, tighter, tighter when you uh, tighten those things on. Okay, now I'm putting the uh, dishwasher hose back on. An air gap is a device that keeps dirty water from the disposal from going into the dishwasher. The tube from the dishwasher goes to the half inch pipe and the tube from the disposal goes to the 7 8 inch pipe. And so we've got the garbage disposal on. Now the thing to do is just hook up the plumbing again and that's what I'm doing. The tube from the dishwasher goes to the air gap and then the tube from the air gap goes to the disposal. Now I'll hook up the piece that goes to the disposal, then I'll hook up the drainage pipes, including the P-trap. Now I've got the water running and the garbage disposal on, and I'm checking carefully for leaks. Uh, look all around, this is an important step. Check everywhere for leaks, and there are none. Remember, if you have a dishwasher, you must knock out the drain plug that goes to the dishwasher inlet. I'll put a link in my video description for the Insincorator Badger three-quarter horsepower disposal. And I'll put links for the Insincorator Badger one horsepower and one half horsepower disposals as well. And I'll put a link for the Insincorator Evolution 
compact disposal, which is a more high-end disposal. And I have a video about installing the Insecurator Evolution Compact Disposal. And it goes over installing the air gap as well. Here's more information about the air gap if you'd like to see that. Also, I'll put a link for the Insincorator septic system model, and I'll put a link for the top of the line 1.1 horsepower Pro Series Evolution Disposal. Also, I'll put links for both Kohler and Delta air gaps. I'll put a link for the Klein voltage detector with built-in flashlight, the Klein and Milwaukee 11 in one tools, which include the 5 16 and 3 8 inch nut drivers, which are needed for this job. Wago lever nuts, the rigid plastic pipe cutter, plumber's putty, the Milwaukee M18 stick light, and the Milwaukee bucket organizer. Thanks! I hope this video was helpful.